Good evening. I'm Roger Voss, the European editor of Wine Enthusiast. You may know me as... I'm the RV that appears in Wine Enthusiast Buying Guide. We taste thousands of wines each year, and there is never a single perfect wine. But each year, there is a perfect winemaker. And tonight, it's my pleasure to introduce you to one, Benoit Gouet, the chef de cave of Moët et Chandon Champagne. Benoit Gouet is both the guardian of the Moët style and the man who moves its tradition forward. Since 2005, when he arrived at Moët, he's been an innovator. And, as you'll see, Benoit Gouet is a valued member of the global wine community. To be nominated the chef de cave of Moët et Chandon is a privilege and a great responsibility. My vision for Moët et Chandon is to preserve the style but to refine it to be uh, coherent with uh, consumers' expectations of the 21st century. Today's modernity is tomorrow's tradition. The climate has changed, the technology has changed, the way of life has changed, so we have to adapt all the time. We have to keep the best from the past and we have to elevate it, we have to nourish it with the best from today. And it's really the combination of our tradition and of our innovation that really makes what we are today. From outside, uh, some might consider that uh, because of our size, uh, we, we can't evolve. Uh, I believe it's the opposite. Uh, I believe that uh, in Champagne, bigger is better. We have our tradition, we have our team, we have our facilities, we have our vineyards, so we have great assets. You know, we are well established. And from that position, then we can uh, move forward and we can innovate and we can take risks. If you just play safe, you will make good. If you want to make great, you have to take risks. The way I will define Benoit as a team leader is as a guide. He has his opinion about the tasting and if I don't have the same opinion as him, he's gonna listen to me and he's gonna interact with me. And also that he's looking always for precision. The mix of these two things makes that uh, Benoit pushes people out of their boundaries. The team is stronger than the individual and each of us, we have special skills and we, when we combine all the skills, I believe that we are close to the truth. I think that Champagne has to continue to evolve and I don't think there is one direction. One direction might be to continue to refine some styles like Moët Imperial and uh, the move we've made in the US has been driven by that, the idea to, to go for a, a blend uh, with more refinement, with more freshness, with more lightness, with a lower dosage uh, in order to uh, meet uh, the evolution of the American palate, a wine that respects the style of Moët Chandon. I believe that there is not one perfect champagne. We have to propose a wide range of champagne to uh, meet every palette and every occasion. I don't see vintage as better than non-vintage. To me, it's two different styles. Non-vintage, we have to make it every year and we have to make it with great constancy. So it's rational, it's technical, it's teamwork. On the other hand, vintage, we are not obliged to make it every year and we can make it as we like. So it's freestyle and it's a more emotional approach, it's a more personal approach. Non-vintage is about constancy, vintage is about uh, originality. I still have dreams, I still have uh, ideas in my mind and uh, I still have time ahead, so uh, let's keep going. Benoit Gouet is the modern face of a great wine, Moët et Chandon Champagne. We are honoured to present him with Wine Enthusiasts Wine Star 2013 Winemaker of the Year Award. Congratulations, Benoit.
we've been competing for 270 years to get your word, so at least you've, we've, we've got it. So it's a great achievement. For the ones who know me, if I start speaking and improvise, I can speak for hours. So this time I've decided to write on a speech in order to be sure that I would be short. First of all, thank you, Roger, for such a very kind introduction. Let me start by saying that um, it is an honor to be named Winemaker of the Year by one enthusiast, a publication whose voice is greatly respected throughout the world of fine wine. On behalf of Moët et Chandon, on behalf of Moët Tennessee USA, I would like to thank Adam Strum, as well as the entire Wine Enthusiast Editorial Board for this acknowledgement. Wine Enthusiast, uh, sorry, it brings great pride to us to be among this evening's group of award winners, and we would like to raise a toast to you all. Congratulations. With this award, you acknowledge our vision for Moët et Chandon, and our careful work in offering consumers worldwide our flagship wine. Moet Imperial, our flagship, perfectly reflects our, our style, a bright fruitiness, a generous palate, and an elegant maturity. It has been a fulfilling endeavor to guide Moet et Chandon over the past few years. For the complete, from the complete revision of our vintage philosophy to the development of our leading rosés, uh, or the creation of Ice Imperial, the first ever champagne created to be enjoyed with ice. And finally, to see the rewards of our hard work reflected in America's embrace of the lower dosage, longer aged Moet Imperial. I truly believe that in champagne, bigger is better. As the leading house known as La Grande Maison in Champagne, we are in a uniquely fortunate position to not only secure the best grapes for our wines, but also to ensure the highest controls for quality and consistency. I realize how fortunate I am to be chef de cave of Moët et Chandon, and I would like to express my gratitude and extend the honor to our teams of viticulturists, winemakers, and cellar workers back in Epenay. The range of wines we produce represents an expression of Champagne's versatility. From Moët et Chandon's Grand Vintage Champagne, which are a unique interpretation of a given year's growing season, to Rosé Imperial, the largest selling Rosé Champagne in the world, to Moët's Ice Imperial and Nectar Imperial wines, to examples of the way Moët et Chandon shows innovations. It is exciting to work on a family of champagnes so diverse, created for so many occasions. Once again, thank you for this honor. <laughs> 